The Place Fence Tool. This is another way of selecting items inside your DGN file. The Fence Tool is underneath your main toolbar, right here, Place Fence. Or you can also go underneath your Construction Tools, and it's with the Element Selection Tool, right here that says Place Fence. Now you have a few different fence modes that you can utilize. You got block, shape, circle, element, from view, from file, from flood, whatever type that you want to use. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and use the block method. Also, you you have your fence modes, which is inside overlap clip, and then void void overlap, and void clip. These three right here deal with the stuff that's inside of the fence that you have defined. These three here will go with those items that are outside that fence. And to kind of demonstrate that, we're going to use the delete fence contents to kind of show you how this works. For right now, it really doesn't matter what fence mode that I have. I'm going to go out here and just define a fence. Something like this. Okay. Another thing with the fence modes which is kind of off the subject but you in using the fence modes here whenever I have a defined fence out here and I were to use my mode out plotting if I were to plot this file right here right now since I have a fence defined it'll actually override my border that I have attached and just print out this portion right here which works out really good if I want to make a print of just this area right here to maybe send out to the field and jot notes down and so forth that will allow you to do that so if you're ever wanting to print out something just a small section just like what I have right here and, and override the border that's attached to it this is the way you would do it just place a fence out there that you're wanting to print out and then send it to the printer now to kind of show you what this fence will allow us to do I'm gonna go through here and use my delete fence contents to kind of show you how to delete items inside this fence but also what the fence modes will allow us to do also I'll use my delete fence contents right here I can also get that in my main toolbar right here first one that I'm going to do is the inside okay I have a defined fence out here I change my fence mode to inside down below here it says accept or reject and what it will do is look at everything that's inside this particular fence that I have defined and deletes those out. So if I were to left click right now and accept that, it will delete out everything that's totally inside that fence. I'll do a microstation undo. I'll go back to my delete fence contents. And I'll go to my next mode, which is overlap. What this one here will do is grab everything that's inside the fence plus going through it and delete out those items so if I were to left click right now you'll see that it deletes out everything that's inside the fence plus going through that fence I'll do an undo bring the tool back next one that I'll do is is the clip what the clip will do is delete out everything that's totally inside this fence right here and also clip it out. So if I were to left click right now to accept that, you'll notice that it clipped out everything inside that particular shape right here, or my fence, and deletes them out. It clips it out. I'll do an undo to bring it back. Go back to my other modes. Now these next ones deal with everything that's outside the fence. So if I click on the void mode, You'll notice now, instead of this being green, you'll see that's red. It's kind of another indication that you're using the void modes that are out there. So if I were to left click right now, what it will do is look at the file and grab everything that's totally outside that fence and delete it out. Just like that. Do an undo, bring the tool back, change it to void overlap. This will grab everything that's outside the fence plus going through it. So like these lines right here, that's they're going through it, but they're still outside of it. They're going to be deleted also. So that's what that one does. Bring the tool back. 
And last but not least is the void clip. And what this will do is look at the fence, keep everything that's inside the fence, but delete out everything that's outside of it. Kind of clips it out. Now you have that particular item that's out there. So that's what that does. Do an undo. Now if I want to remove a fence that's out there, I need to go back to my place fence tool. And if you have a defined fence that's out there, it'll go away. So if I went out here and create a fence and that's not the correct one, all I need to do is select my place fence tool again, define my fence, and I'm off and running. So once, like I said, once if you want to remove a fence, just click on that fence tool again and it will take that fence away. Another thing about your fence modes, I'm going to go ahead and change it to inside for right now and I'll um, place a fence out here. Another thing with the fence modes is you can use them in conjunction with some of your other tools. Just like the same way you use your element selection tool to select some items and then use your delete tool or your copy tool or your move tool. Well, if you have a defined fence out here also, you could utilize some of those tools for that defined fence that you have. And for this example here, I'll use my use the copy tool. And now I come in here, you have this box here. Since I have a fence defined, you have the option to use that fence if you want to do that. And if I check mark this box, now it's going to look at that fence that I have defined out here. And also it's going to utilize whatever mode that you have selected. So if I use the inside, and I were to left click to accept this, it's going to grab everything that's inside that particular fence and copy it to the next location I want to copy it to. Or, if I use my copy tool again, and I do the clip, it'll clip out that portion and place it out there. And kind of as a real world example here, let's say I come in here and maybe this was really small on a drawing, maybe this detail right here and I want to blow it up. I could do that. All I would need to do is place the fence that I want to place out here, whether it's a block or a shape or a circle or whatever. Maybe I'll just do a circle this time just to kind of change it up. And then I come in here and maybe I use my scale tool. I'll use my fence, which is this toggle right here, figure out what mode that I want to utilize. For this one here, I'm going to use the clip. Maybe I want to scale it up by factor 2 to maybe just blow it up. And just like that. So if I pull it out here and I left click to drop it off, I didn't have my copies turned on, so let me do an undo. Scale, make sure I got my copies checked on. And now if I place it out there, it'll keep the original one and make a copy of it. Right click to reset it. And basically we just took that shape that was out there, that fence, and blew it up by a factor of two. Which works out pretty good for a little detail that maybe we want to blow up a little bit. So that's what the fence tools will allow us to do.